This research paper introduces a novel method for the mass production of quantum dot micropolar cavities using direct right photolithography. The technique utilizes a UV light source and a digital light modulator to project patterns onto the sample, offering flexibility and lower costs compared to electron beam lithography. With a resolution of 400 nanometers, it is sufficient for this application. The cavities are encapsulated in a thin layer of oxide, C4F8, O2, to prevent oxidation in the atmosphere, maintaining high-quality optical properties over time. The study demonstrates that the cavities have low sidewall scattering parameters, retaining high-quality factors even at low diameters. Furthermore, the paper showcases a high brightness, high purity, and indistinguishable single photon source using deterministic pulsed resonant excitation, verifying the quality of the material. The samples were grown by molecular beam epitaxy, consisting of a high Q cavity sample with a lower Bragg mirror, a single wavelength spacer containing ENA's quantum dots, and a final 17 pair Bragg mirror. A LOC cavity sample was also prepared with 726 Bragg mirror pairs. The design wavelength was 940 nanometers. The processing involved coating the chips with a hard mask layer of 750 nanometer silicon oxide deposited via plasma enhanced chemical vapor deposition, PECVD, followed by a 2 micrometers layer of negative photoresist, S2020, exposed using the MicroWriter ML3 Pro Direct Write Photolithography tool. The pattern consisted of disks with diameters ranging from 1.55 micrometers to 5.00 micrometers in regularly spaced 5x5 arrays. This direct write method allows for the patterning of 14,000 devices in 240 seconds. After developing the photoresist in S726, the hard mask is etched using a combination of inductively coupled plasma reactive ion etching, ICPRIE and wet chemical etching. The paper also discusses the importance of encapsulation in a thin layer of oxide to preserve the optical properties of the cavities. Researchers have successfully developed high-quality factor micropillars for quantum light emission under resonant excitation. These micropillars are fabricated using a combination of electron beam lithography, inductively coupled plasma etching, and atomic layer deposition to minimize sidewall roughness. The quality factor of the cavities is determined through photoluminescence and white light reflectivity measurements at both 4 Kelvin and 80 Kelvin. The results show that the sidewall loss coefficient is comparable to state-of-the-art values, indicating high-quality cavities. The authors then test quantum light emission from these samples under resonant excitation, focusing on a neutral exciton in a 1.7 micrometer diameter micropillar with a low-quality factor. They observe Rabi oscillations and measure the purity of single photon emission through a second-order autocorrelation measurement, yielding a G, 2, 0, value of 0.027 plus or minus 0.004. Furthermore, they measure the indistinguishability of the single photons emitted by interfering two sequentially emitted photons from the quantum dot, resulting in a raw visibility of the twaphoton interference of 88.9% plus or minus 0.6%. The study highlights the importance of optimizing processing steps to achieve high-quality micropillars with minimal losses. It demonstrates the potential of these structures for efficient and broadband quantum light emission, as well as their suitability for use in quantum information processing and other quantum technologies. This research presents a novel method for generating high-quality, indistinguishable single photons from a deterministically driven neutral exciton transition in a micropillar. By utilizing a direct write technique, the authors achieve precise positioning of quantum dots within the cavity, resulting in improved photon indistinguishability and higher twaphoton interference visibility. The paper begins by discussing Rabi oscillation in pulse amplitude for a neutral exciton in a 726 period Bragg mirror cavity, highlighting the discontinuity at the point of 2π due to the use of a neutral density filter to measure two power ranges. This demonstrates the potential of the system to produce high-quality single photons. The authors then describe their setup for interfering two subsequent photons generated 13.2 nanoseconds apart introducing polarization indistinguishability through a half-wave plate. 
The Hong O Mandel interference measurement reveals a visibility of 88.9 plus or minus 0.6 percent, which, after accounting for imperfections in the interferometer and the probability of multi-photon emission from the source, corresponds to an inferred twa-photon interference visibility of 96.2 plus or minus 0.7 percent. This value is comparable to the visibility achieved with quantum dots and cavities with higher Purcell factors, indicating the excellent condition of the material even after prolonged exposure to a non-controlled atmosphere. The direct write method used in this study has potential for high-volume manufacturing of quantum dot micropolar devices. The quality of the structure, low sidewall roughness, and height purity of the indistinguishable photons demonstrate its promise as a flexible platform for mass production of single photon sources. Future work could focus on optimizing the far-field emission pattern to improve the collection efficiency into a single-mode fiber. Additionally, mapping the locations of dots prior to processing could facilitate the repositioning of cavities and dots over a whole chip without the need for cryogenic lithography, thereby increasing the yield of optimized structures. Furthermore, with positioned arrays of quantum dots becoming available, the yield could approach unity. This research paper presents a comprehensive list of methodologies and findings on the subject of quantum computing. It delves into the complexities of quantum algorithms, highlighting their potential to revolutionize computational paradigms by leveraging quantum mechanics principles such as superposition and entanglement. The paper begins with an overview of the basics of quantum computing, including qubits, quantum gates, and quantum circuits. It then dives into more advanced topics like quantum teleportation, quantum error correction, and quantum cryptography. One significant aspect of the paper is its detailed exploration of quantum algorithms, particularly Grover's algorithm and Shor's algorithm. These algorithms are demonstrated to be significantly more efficient than their classical counterparts for certain problems, showcasing the potential power of quantum computing. The research also touches upon the challenges in building practical quantum computers, such as decoherence and noise in quantum systems. It discusses various approaches to overcome these challenges, including topological quantum computing and adiabatic quantum computing. In addition, the paper provides a comprehensive review of quantum computing hardware, covering both theoretical models and experimental setups. This includes discussions on superconducting qubits, ion trap qubits, and other promising technologies. The study concludes by discussing the future prospects of quantum computing, emphasizing the need for further research in this field to fully realize its potential. It also highlights the potential applications of quantum computing in various domains, ranging from cryptography to material science. Overall, this paper offers a thorough examination of the current state of quantum computing, covering its fundamentals, challenges, and future directions. It serves as a valuable resource for researchers and practitioners in the field, providing insights into the complexities and opportunities presented by this rapidly evolving technology.